I wanted to tell you a story about the time I went to Japan. I don't like flying. I don't like talking to people on planes. I don't even talk to the flight attendants because they lie to you. <laughs> the first thing they say is a lie. Your safety is our number one concern. No, it's not. No, it's not. Our money is your number one concern. If you cared anything about my safety, why is the seat in front of me made of hard plastic seven inches from my face? Why is that, huh? <laughs> Pilot pumps the brakes like, Duh! like, is that safe? <laughs> pumps the brake, that's a... I don't think that's how that works. Like someone's up there just tailgating the plane. He's got his hazards on, like, go around. <laughs> Are there even brakes on a plane? I don't even know. Ooh, brakes on a plane, scary movie. So, <laughs> I try to avoid talking to people when I fly. There's always someone with their kid in my row. And do I have any parents in the crowd? <laughs> yeah. For the parents here, I want to make sure you know this. You're not special. And I'm tired of your garbage. Because <laughs> parents walk around like having a kid makes you special. And that's not true. Raising a good kid, that makes you special. Just having one, raccoons do that constantly. <laughs> it takes more effort to order a pizza than it does to have a child. Yeah, no one's ever ordered a pizza by accident. <laughs> When's that ever happened? Just open your door. How'd this pizza get here? <laughs> your parents are there like, oh, pepperoni, what a blessing. <laughs> now, because I don't have children, people get mad at me when I talk about children. A gentleman came up to me after a show. Livid. Said, until you've understood the pressures of having a child, you can't possibly know what it's like to have a child. And that is true. But I have never flown a helicopter. <laughs> Yet if I saw one in a tree, I could still be like, dude messed up. pilot error. <laughs> now my cousin thinks that I'm going to have children because I have a dog like it's a gateway drug. <laughs> like I'm just there jonesing like, hey, you got any more of that responsibility? <laughs> he always says things like, oh, you're just practicing for children. And to him I say, you sound like a bad parent. <laughs> you should know the difference between dogs and kids. That's, that's day one. <laughs> For the parents in the crowd tonight, I, I don't want to get cocky, but I feel like I'd know the difference. <laughs> I know you never truly know until you have one of your own, but I think the doctor would give me the baby and I would be like, not a dog. <laughs> Hakuna Matata. It's obvious that dogs and kids are very different. Anyone who has met at least one of each of those things knows that. Dogs are way smarter than kids. Oh, I have proof. I own a home and all my electrical outlets are uncovered. They're just open to the public. My dog's never been like, Duh! like that's never happened because he's good at being alive. But a child, your child, <laughs> will stick their finger in an outlet, get shocked, and be like, let me go find a fork. Like, it's insane <laughs> how bad children are at basic survival. You don't believe me? Put a plastic bag next to one for 15 seconds. <laughs> I never said walk away. <laughs> stick close, you'll be needed in a moment. 
No kid anywhere in the world has had the smart thought. No kid has ever looked at that bag and thought, well, I could put my things in that bag. <laughs> Carry them from room to room. Make my life more convenient. No, every kid, no matter where they're from in the world, has that same dumb space helmet. Like every single kid, <laughs> even if their country has no space program. Like, how do they know? <laughs> if you're a parent, you know I'm right. You don't want me to be right, but you know I'm right. You just follow your child around, just going, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Because you could mess it up emotionally, but you can't let it die. That's the rule. That's the rule. <laughs> that is the rule. If you kill someone, you're a monster. But if you raise a murderer, you did your best. Like, why aren't you part of that? You taught a murderer how to walk. That's the first part of murdering. Kids will do anything potentially fatal. If there was an after-school program where you could sign up for fatal activities, it would be full instantly. And then, empty like a week later. 